Hi there, this video outlines multiplication in animal viruses and I'll compare and contrast uh, naked versus enveloped a little bit as I go through. So I'm just going to use a very simple uh, naked icosahedral or icosahedron shape. And the first step is going to be what's called adsorption. You can think of that as attachment. And that is specific to not only the host in many cases, but also can be tissue specific as well. So for example, uh, a, uh, it may specify for liver tissue versus respiratory tissue. Okay, so it's going to bind to the host cell in the first step, and I'm using an animal model here. And then you're gonna have what's called penetration, where this actually comes over the animal cell membrane. And I'm gonna use endocytosis here because we're using a naked virus. So in a, right, penetration here first, so that's coming over the membrane. So it can be uh, fusion in an enveloped virus. I'm gonna use E and V there for short or it could be endocytosis. And that is enveloped or naked might use that mechanism. So the envelope has a couple different mechanisms that it can use. So with an envelope virus, it would have the lipid layer on the outside and the lipid layer would actually fuse with the host cell membrane because they're both phospholipid bilayers and likely they're from um, you know the same, uh, very, very similar type cells. So the membrane has no problem fusing with that. So actually, you know, the membrane it brings in, which is from another host cell, uh, is actually brought in and in, uh, incorporated into your cell membrane. So it comes over. I'm using endocytosis here uh, to draw that. Um, this is not the fusion. The fusion would have an envelope and then it would lose it and come over and actually look naked on the other side. And then the next step would be uncoating. So keep in mind in this virus you have nucleic acid and we've got to get that out. So that may do that in different ways, but in some uh, manner that capsid is uh, digested, removed in some fashion. There's a lot of variation on that. So now we're just down to the releases the nucleic acid. And then you're going to have synthesis and assembly. So synthesis is when the virus is making more copies of itself, and depending on the virus type, whether it's an RNA or DNA virus, it's gonna have to go to different locations in the cell. So if it's a DNA virus, for example, it's gonna have to go into the nucleus. RNA virus depends a little bit, so RNA virus, I'll put some RNA viruses will go in. Other RNA viruses, can start making copies of itself directly in the cytoplasm. And remember the cytoprotein synthesis, it's using, using your protein synthesis, so this is happening at the ribosome. And even if it's a DNA virus where it goes in eventually uh, to pick up some of the pieces, it's probably gonna be coming here to this ribosome, making copies. And then it's gonna make more copies, and these copies are gonna build up. And this is not quite the scale here, so bear with me. So how do we get those viruses out? Well, there's a couple different ways to get those viruses out. Uh, the process is called release. I'm gonna switch colors here just to keep track of the different processes. And so with release, uh, these viruses are gonna need to get out of the host cell. A couple of options here. So you can have what's called budding, and budding is really the reverse of fusion. So if it needs to pick up an envelope, it will literally pick it up on the outside of the cell. Um, if it's a spiked envelope virus, it will actually embed its spikes here. I'll just kind of draw that. And as the, the virus comes through, it will pinch off the membrane and then take the spikes with it. So it, I don't know if that acts a little bit of as a mechanism to kind of draw it towards there, but it seems to locate those spikes and come out in that area. So budding is for uh, enveloped only.
Lysis is another option that is for naked viruses. And then I've also seen exocytosis as well for naked viruses. Now lysis simply uh, happens when so many copies build up, there's so much pressure, the cell will rupture. That obviously is gonna kill the host cell. So the virus can actually, um, if it's an envelope virus or, or a naked virus that can use exocytosis, it actually can kind of turn the cell into a little more of a long-term factory to keep making copies and, and putting them out. Uh, again, if it lyses the cell, it'll kill the host cell. So that uh, may be an effective way to build up a lot of copies and release them, but it isn't an effective way to keep capitalizing on the cell. So I think that's all I have there on that. So the main thing is once you're inside, the uh, synthesis part is fairly similar. The locations, you know, can vary a little bit on DNA or RNA virus. Assembly is fairly similar. The two big uh, pieces that you want to compare and contrast are the penetration portion because the envelope come in in a different way and there's some really nice animations out there that show that sort of that um, uh, that fusion of the uh, of the envelope back into the host cell membrane and then again for the release if they uh, for the budding piece where it actually picks up that membrane and comes back out again and then of course with the naked viruses uh, they don't have that option to fuse and bud so they need to come in through uh, endo or exocytosis or they can do lysis where they just simply build up so many copies the cell breaks open Okay, that's all I have on that one. This is Corey Andres at CNM using CNM Glass. Please contact me with any questions.